The first step in tackling the banner grill project is to transfer the drawing from the paper rendition onto a piece of rusty tin plate. By transferring the drawing to tin plate that gives us the ability to check any work hot on the tin plate which won't burn as opposed to offering it against a drawing which may burn. Some of the things you'll need to do this you're going to need an old rasp or a file, an old bit of blacksmith chalk, a silver pencil, a red pen and some thumbtacks. You'll notice that my uh, tin plate has got some holes punched in the corners so I can thumbtack down the drawing while I'm working to stop it from moving. If the drawing moves during transfer um, it's something we can't recover from. The chalk and the, the rasp are used to generate some chalk dust which we'll put on the back of the drawing and rub it in. The red pen or contrasting colour pen will then be used to go around the outside of the drawing. I use the contrasting colour because I can see where I've been, more importantly see where I haven't been. Again, uh, coming back or trying to reposition the drawing is going to be very difficult for us. The thumbtacks are used to pin the drawing out on the sheet steel so nothing moves during the transferring process and then the, the drawing is made more permanent by the use of a silver pencil on the sheet steel when we finished. The drawing in essence is a quadrangle repeating in mirror images from left to right and from top to bottom. So we only need one quadrangle to be able to repeat all four sides. Once you successfully rub the chalk in, I'm going to take the piece off. And pin it to the four corners of the sheet steel. Transferring the drawing is nothing more than going around the outside edges of the drawing with the coloured pen and the pressure from the pen should push the chalk on the back of the drawing onto the rusty tin plate. We need the rust because there's a bit more tooth if we just use new steel then the chalk would has nothing to, uh, no, no purchase, nothing to grab hold of. And you can see the advantage of the red pen or the colour pen in that now I can see what I've done and more importantly what I haven't done. Once you've finished going around the drawing check to make sure that your coloured pen is shown all the way around all of the drawing. There's no going back if you miss a piece. I look fine. So now what I do is just pull the pins and you should be able to see a faint drawing there in chalk. When you're going around with your silver pencil take care to do the areas that you're going to have to put the heel of your hand on later do those areas first so that when you go to do somewhere else that's protected. As we have two corners here I'm going to draw a 45 line in there and then put the centre punch mark there for my datums, my corners. I'm also going to consider that an area there a datum and I shall measure from there out to the tip and from there out to the tip and then from here back. So we've agreed that there's a datum right there where the bottom of the leaf and the scroll 
join. What I need to know is the measurement for the length of the leaf and the measurement for the length of the scroll taken through the midline um, so that I can actually work out this piece. In this case I'm going to set my dividers to half an inch and that allows me to go around a bend without missing too much. If I had too large a gap then when I came to this sort of bend up here I would be uh, losing a lot of the dimension. So I'm going to start here at the bottom and I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again through the center line, eight, nine, ten, and it looks like quarter of an inch. So I've got ten lots of half inch, which is five inches, plus a quarter. So that's going to give me five and a quarter inches. I'm going to come through the, the leaf. One, two, three, four, five, and then swing that around to the tip, not to the outside edge, but to the tip. Six, so it looks like the leaf is about three inches long. And that's back to that datum. Now I've got my measurements to and from my datum, but I actually need a little bit of material to make a weld here. And I don't really care what that is, uh, because I can work out the remainder of the stock later. But let's say I want an oh, inch inch and a half per side and that may seem like a little excessive but what that does for me is once this is welded which will draw out to a little uh, further then that keeps the leaf the delicate leaf out of the fire when I'm negotiating this weld of the remainder of the scroll onto this scroll leaf assembly so again it may seem a little long uh, but I think it's worthwhile I need to conduct uh, a couple of test pieces now I need to know if I'm going to forge this out of the same bar um, how much material I need to allot for the leaf. If the leaf is three inches long, well I know I have to put a taper on the end first which is going to lengthen the bar and I know I have to spread the material which again will lengthen the bar. So I can't just allot three inches of material because that will grow too long. And I'll also grow some material from making the scroll end. I'm not so worried about this one because I can make the scroll end and then measure back to my datum or uh, break point wherever that is and then have the allotment for the the leaf so test pieces is the name of the game I know of two methods to attach the leaf to the scroll one is an applique method where we make the leaf out of separate material make a box on the end wrap the box around the scroll end and then weld it and then further weld on to the remainder of the scroll you can see there's our scroll in the center the second method uh, to attach the water leaf to the scroll is to make the water leaf out of the same bar as the scroll and then nick the bar, fold it and weld, as shown here, um, to attach the water leaf to the bar. You'll notice I've got a scarf formed on here to weld on the remainder of the scroll. The step of the scarf is on the leaf side, the slope of the scarf comes from the scroll side. That enables me to be able to donate this piece, join my lap weld and have the uh, bar resting on the scroll which is more stable than having it rest on the leaf. So that just gives me a little more stability for the future weld.